Good morning. It is Vlogmas Day something. Wednesday. <laughs> Whatever day Wednesday is. I think it's the 6th. Let me look at my calendar. I'm just going to vote. Yeah, it's the 6th. It's, today's the 6th. Um, it's, been a, it's been a week for sure. Anywho, um, so I thought I would just do a quick good morning. Um, got my coffee. I want to do a quick, somebody mentioned that I should do a review on the advent calendars. I'm going to do them kind of sporadically, but real quick, um, after about six days, five days, six days, six days of drinking the, um, yawn brew calendar. I have so far, I still, I, I'm not going to recommend picking it up if you drink more than one cup of coffee per day if you love coffee it's probably a great you know if you like to savor a little bit of coffee I I literally drink coffee to keep me going and get me through the day so like at work right now and just like you know doing my thing I need to have a, a crap ton of caffeine so I really needed a calendar that maybe did like you know a pot full of coffee and um Dolly's got something to bark about. Um, that this one little cup is not going to cut it. So, I mean, it's a great taste of like, because they sell the full sizes or pounds of of the different coffees. It's a great sampler if that's what you're just needing is like, hey, I just want to figure out if I like something and then note to self, I will order this later kind of thing. If that's what your intention is, it's, it's fine for that for specialty coffee. But as far as like the hardcore caffeine addicts, like I am, um, I don't recommend it for that type of purpose. Um, it is kind of fun. Um, last year I ended up doing this because I ended up just like losing, um, time in the day to go and go make the pour over and make the coffee that I saved up a couple days um, and did like one weekend day where I drank like three of them so I could taste each one and kind of make notes and everything. So that would be kind of interesting, like if you need to make up time. But so far uh, for year two, I'm, I'm not going to recommend. Um, Stefan, his tea advent calendar, he's he's okay with it. He's doing Instagram on his, and maybe I'll link his, um, name there. He does Instagram under his own personal, um, account. And then he also has an Instagram for the dogs. It's called two and a half pugs, I think nine, seven, three, oh, one. Anyway, so he works on getting the dogs out there in the world. And, um, that's what he kind of does on the side. But so he's doing his advent calendar, his tea advent calendar. And I think the last two days, most of this week has been like chai teas and he's, he, hates, he hates chai with a passion. So I felt so bad that there were, I thought I had gotten him this assortment that had just like black teas, but it has a whole bunch of like decaffeinated and chai and um, other flavors that he doesn't really um, enjoy. He's very much a black tea, Earl Grey, English breakfast kind of, kind of guy. So I should have researched that a little better, but that was the brand that he buys like pounds of tea from. So I thought it was a good choice, but anyway, so side note, after one, one week of having those out there and then, you know, Clarins I love, so I don't have too much to add to the Clarins, um, calendar, just about everything in there is my favorite. Um, it's just a really good, um, assortment of products. So I don't think you can ever waste money on the Clarins, um, calendar or advent, um, product, even though I only got the 12 day one and then that's it. Right. Oh, the Bloomingdale's one so far, it's been a really good mix of high end brands. Something I haven't, I haven't tried any of the products other than the candle really yet because I just haven't had time to try them out, but I was excited to see that. So I'm excited to see what else is in that calendar, but, um, I, I'm not disappointed. Last year's one that I splurged on that look fantastic. It's definitely better than that one. That's, that's for sure. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out, but anywho, so this is <laughs> whatever Wednesday, I guess. And I will check in later. I have a delivery coming from Fashion File, so I'm hoping that shows up and I can sign for it. So I'll come back around lunchtime and do a little update on that. <laughs> I opened it from the wrong side. 
<laughs> um, so this is from Fashion File, if you don't already know that. And I've been waiting for this for a few days. And I have to laugh because all of the confetti is down there at the bottom. So, got the file. This is a little tiny little item, but it should be a mighty little item. We will, um, glimpse, glimpse. And I'm pointing this way because the the color is right behind me. So it's Wednesday and Wednesday we wear orange. <laughs> Anywho, I decided to on, I think it was the 10% off sale in mid November. I can't remember now. It's been a couple, it's been a couple weeks. Um, it took forever to get here. Um, I went ahead and made this purchase and I'm so excited because it's the first SLG from this brand that I've picked up. It of course is pre-loved and used and it said it was in good condition. So it's, it's got, got some wear and tear, but I just laugh because they send this dust bag that I'm like, does the thing even fit in there? <laughs> So anywho, it, it's not going to fit in there, but well, maybe it will from the inside, but if you can guess, I'm going to cover it up. What would fit in something so small? It's called the Chev Mysore Bastia coin purse. I have no idea what those are, but the color. And the reason why I made the joke, because on Wednesdays, we wear pink. <laughs> or orange. Um, I saw this, and actually, this is not in that bad a condition. So this, and I'll see if I can have it focus right there. That pen dot right there, that was the reason why they said it was in poor condition. And I'm like, I do not care. I could probably put like an engraving over that, like my initials right here, and it wouldn't show. I, I do not care. So this is supposed to be like Rose, Rose Mexico or Rose Azule. I'll look it up and put it on the screen. Um, it was one of the rare um, pink colors. Oh my gosh, now it's totally clean. It's pristine. That one little dot, that one little dot. That is hysterical. I think I paid $198 for it. So because of that one little dot, that marked it down that much. And of course I got the 10% off of it. So it was actually like 200 something um, before the discount, but once with the discount it was 190, 198. So this is a smoking good deal. And my very first leather um, SLG from MS. And I'm just so excited. Let's see if I can get that to focus. I'm so excited to have an item from Hermes in my collection that I can use. So new, nice little new coin purse. And if someone wants to tell me what the heck my sore is, because I'm too lazy to research it, that would be great and really greatly appreciate it. <laughs> this is this is all new to me. So I'll see if I can get that to. Yeah, there we go. That's that's what it said comes with box, Bastia coin purse, but I'm very excited to have a new little friend join the club and utilize it. I'm not afraid to use it. That's the thing. It's still in really good condition. So on Wednesdays, we wear pink or orange. This one thinks she's getting something. The Chewy order arrived, so she's really excited. 
their toothbrushes got here and their dog treats got here. So they're super excited, but it's not, it's not quite yet time. Daddy's not home yet. It's not time for the advent calendars. Although somebody's excited. Oh, let's talk about this real quick. I keep forgetting to mention these are their Christmas sweaters, but Dolly and Pickles, Dolly, not so much, but Pickles, if I put clothes on her, she goes like ballistic and just runs around the house trying to get him off of her. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they'll wear them at least on Christmas day for, for grandma. But, um, this one is for pickles and she had one just like it last year, but I was able to find a size bigger. So this is for pickles. And then this one is a gap one from his fancy dolly. So they will look adorable. Hopefully we'll be able to get them to try them on at least at some point and I will show you. And then this is their bin with all their toys so they see see that all the time. But rolling. Hi. It's day number six. I think you've seen nothing but me all day today, so sorry. <laughs> In advance. Day number six is a giant box. This looks promising. Excited. Lots of fuzz. Ooh, a huge box of Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate, 0.5 fluid ounce. It's very heavy. Mm. Interesting. I like Shiseido product products. I used to use them all the time, so nice. All right, now we're going over to Clarence, day number six. Little tiny lip perfector, which I've tried before, but in a giant tube. So this is new, a new iteration. All right. All right, dog treats. Do we want to do this one or this one? This one? That oh, one. A new ball for the yard. torn up. You said it opens better from one side? The and side with the notches on it. This side, okay. Yeah, it actually okay. tears open very easily that way. All right. Boo Bear, you here for a treat? Bamboo. Bamboo. Who's here for a treat? Pickles is here, ferret. I'm not going to make you jump up because your, your dad makes you do that. Yeah. It's the only trick he can he reliably knows. Hello, out? Dolly. No. No. That's okay. She doesn't care for those. And over here, it's a giant box today. So I planned ahead because I know that there's a toy in here and Pickles steals all the toys. Mm -hmm. So I put some extra treats in for the kids. All right. But we will open it up. <clears throat> And this is the Star Wars one. The Star Wars, it's like a Death Star in the middle. It's a ball, squeaky ball. Take this off. Yes. Toy? It's. Toy, go ahead, take a look. You want the toy? Yes, it's. It's a pear, a ball and frisbee. Well, flying disc. Uh-oh. What's the matter? I think she inhaled her salmon tree too quickly. <laughs> Do you like a toy, Mama? Like, I'm gonna kill it. The ball <laughs> detaches, right? It will, but yeah. right now I'm gonna leave it in so that she can play with it. Yeah. I <laughs> like when she splails her. Yes. Down there. All right. Mommy didn't forget Any you, more? Bubba's. I got you livers. Look at this right. face. Look at the face. Oh my goodness. Your little face. Ubers. Look Ubers. at that face. Ubers, happy pug face. Yeah, that's the happy pug face. You want to know? Oh, somebody. You got somebody's attention. Hello, somebody. Well, 
First of all, I'm going to give it to Dolly because Dolly is a good girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. hang back, and she didn't like the other ones. Pickles! Stop being rude. You're a rude little pig. Okay, we'll get more later. All right. right, very good. That is today's epic calendar. So, hope you enjoyed getting so much of me today and meeting the kids' happy place, which is always toys. The pickles. Say good night, yep. Bubba. Say Merry Christmas, Pickles. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> <laughs>